the crop of brilliant young players, Manchester United's David Beckham, arguably the hottest property in England, some would even say Europe. And just to prove a point, who taught this young Englishman his trade? Trevor Sinclair, of course, now at QPR, formerly a Blackpool seasider. So the talent is there, but the worry for those who produce it is for how long? If um, the foreign players come in and it's harder for our players to progress because we have so many foreign players, uh, you know, there's no limit at all, and uh, clubs find it's not they're worth their while to uh, develop players, then obviously fewer players will come through. And if fewer players come through, then fewer players will be trying to come through. Even at grassroots level, concern is being voiced. Flixton Juniors have had one of Greater Manchester's most successful youth setups since the 70s. Currently, nine members of the under 12 team train at professional centres of excellence. And again, the worry is over reduced opportunities. The average team you go to now, they've all, you know, they've all got at least one fan, haven't they? So it must be limiting these last chances. But from ones I've seen, I still think that our lads can, can compete with the majority of who they're bringing in, you know. The world of football could not be changing more quickly, so only the brave or maybe the foolhardy would even attempt to predict what influence foreign stars will have on the English game. What the doubters are trying to ensure is that there is an English game and a healthy one at that for the young stars of the future.